Hello and welcome to How to Play Clue, presented by GatherTogetherGames.com. This video will cover how to play the board game Clue. The video will start with the general concepts and gameplay and then get into more of the details for the game. The game is played with two to six players. To play, you will need the Clue board game. Place each playing piece on its corresponding spot on the board. It does not matter which room the weapon pieces start in. Separate the cards into their own categories, suspects, weapons, and rooms. Shuffle each stack and secretly place one card from each category into the case file envelope. Shuffle the remaining suspects, weapons, and room cards together. Deal these cards out to all players. It's okay if some players have more cards than others. The object of the game is to be the first player to correctly guess the three cards that are in the case file envelope. This is done by process of elimination throughout the gameplay. Each player will get a sheet from the detective notebook. Players can mark off cards dealt to them as these cards are not going to be in the case file envelope. Miss Scarlet always goes first. A player will roll two dice on their turn. The player can then move spaces up to the combined number rolled. Miss Scarlet rolled an 8 and moves 8 spaces to enter the lounge. When a player reaches a room, they can make a suggestion for the three cards in the middle. The player for Miss Scarlet suggests Professor Plum with the wrench in the lounge. When making a suggestion, the player will move the suggested suspect and weapon into the room. The room the player is in is always the room that has to be suggested. The player left of the suggesting player will secretly show the suggesting player a card that proves the suggestion wrong if possible. The Colonel Mustard player secretly shows the Miss Scarlet player the Professor Plum card. The Miss Scarlet player will mark off Professor Plum. Play moves left to the next player. The Colonel Mustard player will roll both dice and move accordingly. Colonel Mustard is moved seven spaces. Since Colonel Mustard did not enter a room, no suggestion can be given. Play moves left again. Players continue to take turns making moves and suggestions when possible. If a player left of someone making a suggestion cannot show a card to disprove the suggestion made, the next player to the left will secretly show a card to the suggesting player. This continues until one card is secretly shown to the player that made the suggestion. A player can make one accusation during the game. An accusation is made when a player believes they know the three hidden cards. An accusation is made on a player's turn after the player makes a suggestion. The player of Miss Scarlet has suggested Mrs. Peacock with the revolver in the hall. No player was able to disprove the suggestion by showing a card. The player now says, I accuse Mrs. Peacock with the revolver in the hall. After an accusation, the player will secretly check the three hidden cards. If correct, the cards are shown and the player wins the game. If a player makes an accusation and is wrong, the player will return the hidden cards and does not get any more turns. The player will still show cards when needed. When making an accusation, the player does not need to be in the room being named. A suspect that is moved into a room after a suggestion stays in that room and does not return to the original position. There is a secret passage that players can use to move from the lounge to the conservatory and back or the kitchen to the study and back. A player cannot move diagonally and cannot move through a space already occupied by another player. That wraps up How to Play Clue. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and get more game tutorials by subscribing to our channel, Gather Together Games. Thanks for watching.